Hello friends and potential friends, it's Jack the Geeky Gardener and I'm in the kitchen again because quite frankly it's just too hot outside to be to be outside. It's almost as hot in here. But anyway, I received a new shirt in the mail the other day and I've been looking for an excuse to show it off. Since I can't do anything outside, I figured I'd come in and mix up a batch of my pepper relish. Give you a look at that. Look at the shirt, I'm proud of that. Thanks, Anna. Got here in record time. I guess they were trying to make up for that first little snafu. But I've got all my materials gathered up here. I've got my jars in the water bath canner coming to a boil, so they'll be sterilized. Uh, recipe is pretty simple. It calls for five cups of chopped sweet peppers, five cups of chopped hot peppers, two cups of sugar, two cups of vinegar. I've been tweaking the formula a little bit. I got the original recipe from uh, Starry Hilder a number of years ago and I've been tweaking it ever since trying to get it to just the right amount of spiciness and sweetness. Uh, the two cups of sugar is going to make this a sweet relish and the jalapenos and other hot peppers that I'm putting in it will hopefully get me to the right spiciness that I want. Okay folks confession time. I had to go to the store. Here's the varieties of peppers that I'm going to be using today. I've already used up everything that's come out of my garden and so I had to go and buy all my peppers at the store. Start with we've got a variety of bell peppers. These are going to be the sweet peppers in this concoction. Got a pile of jalapenos. Probably will not use all of them but I use whatever I can and for a little bit of spiciness I added a few uh, habaneros. I've also got this one bag of uh, one of that bell peppers that have already been crunched up. That's from the last batch that I made. My jars are in the water bath canner coming up to a boil to sterilize them and now I need to take these peppers apart, remove the seeds and get them chopped up and ready to go. So you don't want to watch this especially with the tiny little food processor I've got. So let me cut this off and I'll get back with you as soon as I got everything ready to go. Okay folks all the chopping is done. There you see the results. Approximately five cups of chopped sweet peppers, five cups of chopped hot peppers. Now in my batch this time the hot peppers consist mostly of jalapenos but I did put six habaneros in there. Uh, the last batch I made I put three habaneros and it wasn't quite hot enough for me so we're going to put six in this. Next step is to combine all the ingredients, two cups of sugar, two cups of vinegar, I'm using white vinegar you can use apple cider if you prefer those off to the side. Get this stuff heating up a little bit. And basically I'm going to bring this to a boil and then turn it down to a simmer. Let it simmer for approximately 30 minutes. And I need a better spoon for this. There's one that ought to work better. Get this good and mixed together. Got the heat turned on. And now, depending on what kind of hot peppers you use in this, you might want to consider doing this outdoors. This step. 30 minutes of cooking this stuff is going to put some fumes into the air. If you can't do it outdoors, maybe a gas mask might work. Make sure your gas mask covers your eyes too because there are going to be some fumes in the air. But anyway, you don't want to sit and watch this cook, so that's the next step. After the 30 minutes is done, it's time to jar everything up and put it back in the water bath canner. So I'll put you on pause for right now and bring you back when that time comes okay the relish has been cooking for 30 minutes 
I have removed my jars from the water bath canner. They're good and hot. It's time to get this stuff jarred up. Remember the rules. Hot relish has to go in hot jars. You don't want any jars shattering on you. I am going to be shooting for about half an inch of head space in here. Thereabouts. That looks good for that one. And that's a little bit too full for that one. And that's enough of that. You see how I'm filling up the jars? I'm sure you filled up jars before. Let me get these things finished up and I'll get back to you. Okay, it looks like we got seven jars. I was expecting six. So of course I prepared eight jars in case I needed one. Take my vinegar and carefully wipe the rims. Carefully because the stuff's hot. Make sure the rims are good and clean. Don't want anything spoiling the seal. That takes care of that. Now take my hot flats. One for each jar. I guess I'm a bit paranoid, but I don't like to touch the seal side of the lids after I've got them sterilized. I wash my hands and everything, but don't want to take a chance on it. And there's one extra. Grab some rings. And we just put these finger tight. get them much tighter than that because these jars are hot. You can't really grip them well enough to tighten them too much. Come on, go on there. Okay, now we'll just put these into the water bath canner. We will process them for 10 minutes after it comes to a boil. And I'll bring you back and show you the final results. Okay, 10 minutes is up. I've removed the jars from the canner. And they're sitting there cooling, waiting for some pings. I've already heard at least one, maybe two. but seven pints of pepper relish let them sit out overnight and then tomorrow they go in the pantry give it a try folks and i'll see you on the next one